I think, uh, yeah, before we get a question, I just want to thank you guys for bearing with me since I was 18 years old, came to the vet, had no clue what, you know, to expect. The Philly media, the toughness, just what you guys stood for, but you guys really did. You, you stuck with me, and I'm just really appreciative of the time I had to spend with you guys and, you know, the amazing articles and stories that you guys wrote. Um, I know, you know, family, you know, weren't always here, so they at least were able to always catch up and, and pay attention. And, you know, this is just, uh, this is a special place. And, you know, I'm really, really fortunate that, you know, this day came up and how everything is turning out. Some of the best teammates I've ever had. The organization is one of the top. And you guys have done a phenomenal job with, you know, covering it all. And just thank you. All right, thank you, Cole. Um, congratulations on a wonderful career and uh, all you did for this city, both on and off the field. Um, with that, we will open it up for questions. Uh, we'll let us start us off. Paul, on the left. Uh, Cole, just so far, how is this night compared to what you thought it would be and just put the last few hours into words? It's, yeah, it's gonna take me <laughs> probably quite a few weeks and, and months to kind of reminisce about just, I guess, the impact. Uh, I mean, I got to play a game I love and to do it for people that really appreciate it and to what we were able to accomplish. Um, you know, that's, I think that's why, as us players, we're so close. You know, we, we got to do something really special in, in, in a city and the bond that we have is gonna be forever. And to be able to then come back and be welcomed and loved and to just try to acknowledge how thankful we are that we have the opportunity that we get to play in front of some of the best fans in the world and we get to win you know we we uh we did what we set out to do i know we would have loved to be able to do it a couple times but we did get that trophy and what they show as sports fans it's it's helped me now become an even bigger fan and especially a fan of Philadelphia sports. Um, you know, it's what my kids know. And uh, you know, a lot of them are all born here, they're all Philly sports fans. So you take that with you. Uh, and it's, it's, it's just a big moment. I mean, the fans are everything. It's, it, it, it is, like you said, it's gonna take me a while to, to really kind of digest and, and understand what just happened. Thanks a little Matt on the wall on the left. Cole, you said near the end, you said now it's this team's turn. I'm wondering how much have you been watching this team? I know you were in London, but do you think they sense that bond that you showed, they saw tonight between the guys who won together. Do you get a feeling they can appreciate that? And what makes you think so this, this is this team's turn? No, absolutely. I've you know been fortunate enough to be able to come to the World Series and, and obviously the, the NL uh, CS last year, they have it. And, you know, the team, the front office, they've put together a really good group of guys. And that's what Philly always does. When they really go after something and they know they're ready, they get the right people, the right pieces. And I think in that clubhouse, what you kind of see, the fun that they're having, the confidence that, that they all have in each other. And it, it, there's the similarities, but they are their own, they're their own team. I think last year is, is something that probably taught them a lot. And that's the strength that they can build off of. And you know, that's that's what you do as athletes. You 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 never stay satisfied. And when you come up short, you work harder. And you can see it. I mean, just how they're playing today. It's one of the best pitching staffs uh, in all of baseball. And that's fun to to be able to to witness, especially as fortunate as I was to pitch with the pitchers that I did. Thanks, we'll Scott here on the left. Cool. Um, you thank a lot of people, uh, from Daryl Connors to Rich Dewey to Charlie Manuel. Have you had a chance in the last, you know, eight nine months to think about whether there's something in baseball that you want to do next? If there's anything that captures your interest, and whether you'd like to continue your career off the field? I mean, it's the one thing I guess I'm good at. <laughs> it's baseball. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to be able to at least sit back and, and kind of enjoy a year or two away from the game and, and try to be around my family uh, before I, I looked into where I could get involved. Um, I've had a lot of great mentors and players because I'm kind of the last to sort of retire in our group. I've really been able to talk to them and get a lot of uh, thoughts and 
you know, their experiences and what they did and what they learned and just so that I can either follow somewhat in their footsteps but not make the same mistakes. Um, I think anything that I like to do, I like to put full effort in and, and but I know you, there's a learning uh, curve in everything you do. You know, it's, it's so the front office is different. Coaching and teaching is different. Um, but just having the opportunity to have those sort of possibilities to look at what I might be good at and where I can add in my experience and expertise. Uh, they have a great group of pitchers here. Um, this is a great team. Uh, so if it fits and this is, this is a, there's an opportunity, uh, I would definitely look at it. Um, but it, everything has to, to fit in the right way. And I always want to do that. I don't want to step on people's toes. Uh, I just want to be an asset. Okay, we'll go over here to Destiny on the right. Hi, Cole. Congrats on your retirement. Uh, you spent the last few years of your career trying to get back and battling injuries in the process. What motivated you to kind of push your body forward? And have you received any closure as regards to the way your career ended? Definitely got the closure. <laughs> I think this was perfect right here. Um, I think as, as an athlete, you never know when time is up. You chase it and you go until you can't and it's you don't want somebody else to tell you uh, so I, I think I feel like I, I left it all out there um, you know I did go through a, a, a pretty significant shoulder surgery that the likelihood of coming back was uh, I think it was less than one percent and what I always told myself is is that's the challenge and I've done it before uh, so why not try again and if you try and you fail you know what at least i did at least i gave it that effort and, and that is that's where the closure kind of comes and i appreciate all the effort i put in uh because it wasn't easy and i know to get to the highest level and to maintain the highest level as an athlete it's not supposed to be easy uh, so trying to capture anything that i have left i chased it and you know what i'm, I'm proud of the time and the effort that i put in um, you know, the, it's weird to, to say that my last professional uh, game was, you know, in a COVID year with no fans in the stands and, you know, my shoulders falling apart and I got three innings in. And uh, Azuna just robbed a home run uh, for my last out. Um, so it's kind of, it's just a crazy uh, moment of, you know, how you start out, how you end. It's never going to be how you want it, but you just enjoy that I had the opportunity. And what was that dynamic like in San Diego in particular? I know you were around the Arizona complex and you were mentoring a bunch of 20 year olds. How was that like? It, it's a different age. Uh, there's a lot of talent out there and they throw really hard. Um, Technology is definitely uh, you know, taken over, um, but at the same time, you still have to think and you still have to pitch. And there's still a lot more that's involved um, with gut instincts and visually uh, being able to be in the moment. Uh, that sometimes numbers can't really help you with. Uh, so, you know, it's just trying to help the guys down there, and, and I guess it's learning how to communicate, and learn how to communicate with the younger, younger generation. Um, I guess I admire Jamie Moyer for what he did for me, because, I mean, he was in his 40s, and I was, you know, 22, 23, so and he was able to communicate with me. So now I'm in his position, 